Welcome to the Performance Manager version update video for version 2.8. In this video, we will go through some of the key changes and improvements. In 2.8 is the addition of the Application Engineered Compact Speaker Line. The AE Compact Series is a line of point-and-shoot boxes that many of our customers use with their VTX systems as fill speakers. With this update, AE Compact can now be incorporated into a performance manager venue when used with iTech amplifiers. To add AE Compact speakers to your venue, insert them as speakers directly by dragging and dropping them from the speaker panel or bringing them into a distributed fill template. As we introduced in version 2.7, when bringing in fill speakers, we default the wiring mode to be inside to outside. If you wish to change to a different wiring scheme, you can access the properties panel here and change the wiring mode in this drop down here. If you want to change the orientation, you can also change it here. As with any other speaker, the next step is to associate them to amplifier channels and select presets. Inside Performance Manager, all AE Compact speaker presets have been re-engineered to match the phase, frequency response, and voicing of VTX systems, and are always high-passed at 80 Hz. With Line Array Calculator 3.6, we introduced EDS, or Electronically Steered Subwoofer Processing, for flown subwoofer arrays. This feature allows you to optimize the coverage in your venue using delay on circuits of subwoofers to steer the coverage of vertical arrays. In Performance Manager version 2.8, we've built the support required to be able to import these prediction files and push the data to your amplifiers, just as we can do with other types of arrays. To do this, we save our LAC file and open Performance Manager. We add our template for the number of speakers we want to create. We then go to Add Speakers, and instead of using the typical drag and drop interface we are used to, we would use this button here to import the selection dialog. We choose the correct LAC file and click Open. Performance Manager will now recreate the array from the LAC file and apply the delay times to the device settings. The next step is to amplify the new speakers with the correct iTech amplifier. In this case, we will use the iTech 12000. From here, we can go online and look under Tune Mode at the delay times. We will see that the devices have imported the delay settings. These settings were imported from here in LAC, and now they are imported into Performance Manager here. An improvement was made to the preset selection options for mixed arrays, like when we fly A8 under B18s or V25s under S28s. In the past, for example, an array with S28s and V25s in the same array, Performance Manager would assume an 80 Hz crossover and it would not allow you to change it. With version 2.8, we can now select presets for each system independently using these dropdowns. A small tweak to the interface has been made to connect mode. When going online, the buttons for locate, clear containers, and rack renaming have been moved up to the top to make the interface more consistent. As we continue to improve and refine our software solutions, we encourage you to pass along any additional questions or feature requests. If you would like to find more education resources, please be sure to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and check out jblpro.com slash edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching.